What up, YouTube and Gen X? This is day. This is Daywalker two two five X X X X. And uh, I was just on the internet not too long ago, and I was reading this article about President Ian Kama. He's uh, age fifty seven. He's never been married, and he was at a political party meeting last month, and he said, uh, you know, they, they've been kind of on him to uh, get married. But uh, he said his top requirement for a future wife is that she needs to be tall, slim, and beautiful. And in his country, the women there are primarily known for being short and heavyset. And he said, uh, you know, to drive home his point, he said, uh, he pointed at the minister of local government, Bottle, Bafla Gil, whatever the hell her name is, I'll, I'll, I'll write it up here, and said, I don't want one like this one. She may fail to pass through the door, breaking furniture with her heavy weight and even break the vehicle's shock absorbers. All right. Now, the crowd, including himself, all laughed at, you know, the, the, including the minister who had been singled out, all reportedly laughed at the president's comments, and he claimed he's been too busy running the country to look for a wife, and has dispatched presidential aides to find him a suitable mate. The president's status as a bachelor is of national concern, and Kama, who was elected in 2009, is not only president, He's also chief of the Bamanguato, tri Bamanguato people, Botswana's largest ethnic group. And marriage is a requirement of tribal tradition, something that Kama so far has defied. Now, my whole take on this is that, for one, I think it's hilarious, alright? And for two, it also drives home the point that just because a man has a preference for a certain type of female or a certain type of woman that he hasn't been conditioned I mean here's a guy that's all the way over in Botswana he's a president of Botswana alright you know he's way the hell over there in Africa and he doesn't want a fat overweight busted looking female he doesn't want to have to deal with that he doesn't want to have to wake up to that Every single night, <laughs> I mean, every single day of his life for the rest of his life. He doesn't want to have to do that. And I can't say that I honestly blame the guy. All right? You know, he doesn't want to deal with women that look that way. And I can't blame the guy. I wouldn't want to either. I'm the president of a country. I am the fucking president. I am el presidente. All right? I am the fucking man. And I gotta wake up to a fat, busted bitch every fucking day? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright? But yet and still, he has the fucking... Uh, I suppose he'd be okay with a lot of these sisters if he if they were to say, Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna put my, my personal feelings and my personal preferences to the side because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to have anyone upset at my choices and my preferences for a woman that I'm attracted to. You know, I only work my ass off to become president and become the fucking man around here only to have to deal with a substandard, subpar woman that I don't particularly care to look at every day for the rest of my natural fucking life on this planet. That's what you women are asking that man to do. And I personally don't think that he or any other man on this planet should have to fucking do that. He was 100% right when he said what he said. Then what kills me, what fucking pisses me the fuck off, is that they came back. They came back. After this man said how he felt, alright, after he said how he felt, and then they came back and they were trying to get him to apologize for saying what he said. And you know what? I want, and he refused to apologize for it. And I don't blame the guy. I cannot blame the guy. He was.
was nothing but right for what he did. And for what he said. You ask the man his fucking opinion, then you get pissed off when you get slapped in the fucking face with it. You get pissed off when somebody is honest with you and tells you how they feel. If you don't want the truth, don't ask for it. You just might get it. You know, and and what's so funny is, is you got a lot of these these people that, that'll come on here on, on Gen X and on YouTube and be mad and be upset and say, oh, well, it ain't as bad. No, it is as bad. It is just as bad as he is making it out to be. You know, you're trying to say, oh, it's not as bad as he's making it out to be. No, it's fucking that bad. It's that bad. And I'm going to tell you why it's that bad. Because apparently uh, some people like to, to try and, and, you know, support the notion that he should just make the, the most of a bad situation. No, you shouldn't make the most of a bad situation if you don't have to. If I'm Bill Gates... And I'm making over a hundred million dollars a year, and I mean I know he makes more than that, but let's just say I'm making over one hundred million dollars a year. Am I supposed to settle? Am I supposed to settle for anything? How does that fucking work out? I'm not even fucking Bill Gates, and I don't fucking settle for shit I don't want. If I don't want something, that is not what I choose. If it's not what I want, I don't even fucking choose it. It ain't what I want. I'm never going to be happy with this. I'm always going to think to myself, well, you know, I went out and, uh, you know, I went out and I bought this BMW, but I really wanted an Aston Martin. You know, I, I, I wanted to, I wanted the Aston Martin Vantage with the, with the, with the V12 in it, but I, I, I settled on the one with the V8. And even full well knowing that the one with the V8 is grossly underpowered, it isn't as fast, yeah, it's an Aston Martin, yeah, it's in my fucking yard, but no, it's not what I want. It will never be what I want. And unless I go buy what the fuck I want, I'm never going to have that. So yeah, I cannot blame that man for saying what he said there. And, and these women had the fucking audacity to say that he was sexist and wrong and he was gay for making that statement. And let me and let me also address the fact that President Kama is also a lighter skinned dark man. He's also a lighter skinned dark man. He's not the darkest the darkest cookie in the bunch, but he has a disease where he's melanin deficient. He's not as dark as a lot of the other people from his country. But that is besides the point. The man is attracted to what he is attracted to. And I cannot blame him. I cannot fault him. I cannot find anything wrong in his stating what he wants. He told the truth when asked the question. If you don't want the fucking truth from the man, why even ask? You know? It, 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 and, and it fucking kills me. These, these, these women will sit here and, oh, well, you know, he should just go on ahead and get a woman of his country because that's what he's representative of and that's who he serves. No bullshit. If that's not what he wants, then that's not what he should get. And for a man to sit there and say, and see, this is what kills me with women, because they all, they're all they always on this bullshit ass, you should settle shit. Let me get a drink. They're always on this bullshit ass, you should settle shit. No, you shouldn't settle for anything. Marriage, more often than not, benefits a woman more so than it does a man. Because if a, if a marriage goes 10, 20, 30, 40 years... And that woman has children, she doesn't have to raise them by herself. She doesn't have to raise those kids by herself. But, if she's with a man, particularly a powerful man, such as, oh, I don't know, a president of an entire country, then of course she'll be well taken care of. Of course she'll be looked after. Of 
course she'll have money and the financial means and the financial wherewithal to do what she needs to do and educate and support and feed and clothe said children. She'll have all of that. Where does it benefit that man other than the fact of knowing that his children will carry on? You know, carry on his genes and his genetic uh, sequences and codes, you know, into the next gene pool, into the end of the future. That's all that says. And when you think of it, really, you know, he, he doesn't get anything as a result of that. Other than the fact that knowing that he has kids, <laughs> you know. But women are like, uh, they, they want to place all of this, this fucking value on, oh, I had a kid. Well, you know what? It's not all it's cracked up to be. I don't have any kids. As a matter of fact, there, there, there have been times when, you know, I, I was with a female and I quote unquote liked her a lot. I've never been to the point where I wanted to go out and just marry a female. Well, actually I have. If there was... It was two times I was going to marry a female and I got talked out of it twice. And my dad talked me out of it. And I swear, I, I, I appreciate that more than anything anyone has ever done for me in my life. Because he had the good sense to tell me, son, you're fucking up and you're an idiot. You know, my dad just talks to me like that if he feels the need to. And... If I'm doing something wrong, he'll just sit me down and say, son, what you're doing is fucking stupid. You know, what you're doing doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. Think about it. Think about it long term and ask yourself, is this who you want to wake up to for the rest of your life? Can you put up with this for the rest of your life? Do you want to deal with this female for the rest of your natural life? No matter what goes on, you got to be there. You can't just, it ain't like a chick you're dating. You can just say, well, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with you. Fuck you, I'm gone. No, it doesn't work that way. Marriage is night and day. It doesn't work like that. Marriage is like permanent. <laughs> you have to sit there and deal with that shit. And after thinking about it, I was like, you know what? Damn, he's making a good-ass valid fucking point. I should not be fucking marrying this chick. You know, this is somebody I, I really shouldn't matter. And and after and after that realization dawned on me, I called it off. And yeah, I was pretty much wrong for the way I did it, but I actually called off a wedding when I was at the altar. Yep, nope, sorry, I'm not marrying your daughter. And that's the way it ended up working out. But let me I mean, I know I've went off topic here, but let me get back to what I was talking about. Yeah, I, I personally don't think that that man was wrong in the way that he stated he did not want to deal with that female. Why? Because women do it to men all the time. That, that, that was another issue I wanted to bring up. When women aren't attracted to men or when women don't want to be bothered by men, you know, women always will go up and, oh, you, you sorry ass motherfucker, I don't want to deal with your ass, you black motherfucker. It's always, it, it, it's never, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not interested and you let it at that. Oh, no, it, it, it's always more than that. You always have to go for the overkill, the ladies. I'm talking to you ladies right now. Yeah, you always want to sit here and go off on these men and call them black bastards or red bastards or stupid motherfuckers or ignorant niggas or whatever the fuck you, you just so happen to choose to call black men of color that particular day when dealing with them. So no, I don't feel that he was wrong at all when he says, I don't want to deal with a fat bitch. I mean, he didn't exactly say it that way, but that's that's the general the general gist of what he said. I don't want to deal with a fat bitch. But he's wrong for that. He's wrong for giving his honest opinion. Well, you know what, ladies? Turn about his fair fucking play. Because now you got a man that not only said what you say to men all the time, he just did it in reverse. He just, it, it, it's just the script, got the script got flipped this time. That's what happened. He flipped the script on that ass. And now all of a sudden you want to cry foul. When you've been doing it for years and years and years. 
<laughs> Hilarious. You ladies crack me up. Really. Well, in any event, that's my video. This is Daywalker 225XXXX. Signing out. Until next time. Love, peas, hair grease, all my peeps. You guys have, have a good one. I'm out.